Windows 10's October 2020 update, also known as the 20H2 update, is here. This update is focused on bug and performance fixes, but it has some larger changes like removal of the system control panel. This video is up to date with the latest changes as of the final version of the 20H2 update, released on October 20, 2020. It's also known as Windows 10 version 2009, and it has a build number of 19042.572. Before starting a video subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell icon, so you never miss my new video. So, let's get started. Microsoft removed the system control panel. In this version of Windows, the classic system page in the control panel has been removed. When you try to open it, you'll be taken to the About page in the New Settings app. This isn't as big a deal as it sounds. All the information found in the Settings panel in Control Panel is available in the Settings app. There's a convenient Copy button to copy all the text to your clipboard, and you'll even find buttons for opening advanced system settings like BitLocker Settings and Device Manager at the bottom of the page. This is just another step in Microsoft's long, slow process of slowly phasing out the control panel. The control panel won't vanish anytime soon, though, it has too many useful options, and Microsoft is migrating them to the new settings app very slowly. The new Microsoft Edge is now built in. Microsoft is proud that, this is the first version of Windows 10 with the new, Chromium-based Microsoft Edge browser included. That's not necessarily big news, Windows Update may already have installed the new Microsoft Edge on your system. Anyway, the new Edge has also been available to download from the web since January 15, 2020. But, with this release, it's official, the new Edge replaces the old Edge in the baseline version of Windows 10. Access your Samsung phone's Android apps on your PC. Microsoft is expanding the Your Phone app with more features designed for select Samsung devices. If you have one of these phones, you can now access your phone's Android apps directly on your Windows 10 PC. They'll be running on your phone but you can launch, see, and interact with them on your Windows 10 desktop. In the future, Microsoft says it will go even further. Later in the year, Samsung Galaxy Note 20 users will experience the power and convenience of running multiple apps side by side, and we will continue to work with Samsung to bring this feature to additional devices. Apps will launch in separate windows enabling you to interact with multiple apps at the same time. Microsoft's website offers more information about the apps feature, including a full list of supported devices that can use the apps feature. The Start Menu's theme better matches Windows 10's new icons. The Start Menu is getting theme-aware tiles. Now, the tile background will be light or dark to match whichever Windows 10 theme you're using light or dark. Previously, the Start Menu used your accent color, which means the default Windows 10 theme used a variety of blue icons on a blue background. The shift to using standard theme colors means Windows 10's new application icons look better in the Start Menu. You can still get those tiles that match your theme back, however, just head to Settings, Personalization, Color, Enable Dark Mode, and tell Windows to show the accent color on Start, Taskbar, and Action Center. Alt Plus tab shows Edge browser tabs by default. Windows 10 now shows browser tabs in your Alt Plus tab switcher, if you use Edge. Instead of just showing one Edge thumbnail for each browser window, you'll see many different tabs in the Alt Plus tab switcher. So, if you're using several web pages at once, you can quickly find and switch between them just with Alt plus tab. If you don't like this, that's fine it's configurable. Head to settings, system, multitasking, and you configure Alt plus tab to show your most recent 3 or 5 tabs, or turn it off completely, and get a more classic Alt plus tab experience. Presumably, other browser like Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox could choose to integrate with the Alt plus tab switcher in the future, and show browser tabs, too. After all, the new Edge shares its open-source Chromium codebase with Google Chrome. Enhancements to Taskbar Pinned Sites in Edge Microsoft has been making pinned sites on the Taskbar work better, too. When you pin a website to your Taskbar using Microsoft Edge, you can now click or mouse over that Taskbar icon to see all your browser tabs for that website. So, if you pin Gmail to your Taskbar in Edge, and you have Gmail tabs open in several browser windows, you can click the Gmail icon to find them even if they're buried in other Edge browser windows. No more noisy Focus Assist notifications, if you've used Windows 10's Focus Assist feature, which automatically hides notifications while you're playing games and using other full-screen applications, among other tasks you'll probably notice that it can be really noisy. 
In the spirit of not bugging you with notifications, Focus Assist pops up to show your notification that hey, it's not going to show you any notifications. And, when you're done with your focused activity, Focus Assist pops up a summary of all the notifications it didn't show you. It's pretty distracting. Now, Microsoft is disabling all these Focus Assist notifications by default, although you can still re-enable them in settings. Refresh Rate Options in Settings You can now change your PC's refresh rate in the Settings app without visiting the old control panel. you'll see a refresh rate option at the bottom of the window. If you have a monitor with a high refresh rate, you should crank it up for a smoother visual experience. Most of these changes in the October update are pretty small, but some are really small. Here are a few other ones, notification enhancements, Windows 10's notifications now include an application logo, so you can easily see which application generated them, and an X button so you can quickly dismiss them. Default taskbar icon tweaks, in a minor change, Windows 10 will adjust the default taskbar icon layout depending on what you use your PC for. If you link an Android phone during setup, you'll see your phone icon on the taskbar. If you have an Xbox Live account, and you're using a gaming PC, you'll see an Xbox icon on the taskbar. You can still add or remove whatever icons you like. To install the update in an official way, head to Settings, Update and Security, Windows Update. Click, Check for Updates. If the update is available for your PC, you'll see Feature Update to Windows 10, version 20H2, here. Click Download and Install to get it. If the update isn't available for your PC, that suggests Microsoft isn't confident it will perform well on your PC's hardware yet. Anyhow, this has been a quick Windows 10 update video on my channel. If you found this video helpful, or would like to find out more about Microsoft products such as Windows 10 or Microsoft Surface, Make sure to subscribe and check out Microsoft.com for more info. Thank you. Goodbye.